start record you guys so now we we are going to create one simple card so we, we see here everything is a card as i said and we will create something similar to this or maybe as per our design here right we'll just let's make this one okay so now what what i need right i'm gonna need index page css page one image yeah that is all i need right for now so let's put this on the side uh go back uh here let's find one image right uh so on splash and i will just get uh what what image i can find uh, copy so this is you know this image let's i i don't like that just get nature right so i will right click and copy the image address okay so now i will add index page index.html and I'm gonna add style right style.css okay so index page what I will do create the template simple and we call it card right card and link my CSS dot slash style.css okay so what what things what are the things i need right to create a card what how am i going to create a card now so if i can make one box right for my card so let's do that one i'll just give dot card and inside here right uh inside here i'm gonna put uh, image the first one is image right so image add that and just call it uh, nature right then what else after image i have the okay so i have two button here right so let's create that two buttons so that is in the same line okay i can use button or i can just call it span tag here so what is that nature and leg nature and span leg right leg okay now there is a heading one so let's do that one three word right so heading one i'll just put three word here three times something like that then there is a paragraph right so paragraph maybe 20 only little right and then there is a button okay like that read more right so let's put button Read more okay so once we do this uh let's go live view and see how it looks so oh it looks something like this terrible right okay so let's start styling now uh, i want you guys to see this right well how it changed okay i will close here and I'm gonna go to CSS. So first, I will remove this uh, all the default margin padding, right? So I will do asterisk margin zero, yeah, and padding also zero, and box sizing border box. Okay. So a little bit just move, right? Now I have an image tag, right? Image. Okay. So what I will do. Basically, I will just say width will be hundred percent of the parent, right? Parent and object fit, right? Object fit will be cover. Let's do that for the image, okay? 
to see because the, the right now the parent is what card right the but card is also the size of the screen so that's why it fit perfectly there right now if i move it will just fit it is responsive now right okay i will select card right card and let's give this uh some background color or let's make a width max width right max width of 300 pixels it's small okay like that yeah uh also image right i want to give a height height to the image maybe how much so let's i don't know how much 240 pixel max height max height or maybe height let's give it 240 pixel it's more right so 140 something like that you know so now right i want to move the card so let's uh give margin top right but uh, first I, I want to center the card i just want to put this card in center so margin right margin zero auto so that is center already why not we give us some background color also right background color of something like uh at least two let's see what is what is that color yeah something like that is okay right we can give some padding also you know inside the card can we do that padding of maybe you know 10 pixel it looks i can bring the card down right so let's make it some margin top okay so margin top is here right so margin top and bottom you know we can change that uh how much we can give let's give it 20 pixels so it just moved down right we can add some border radius also right to the card just to make it nice maybe 12 pixel yeah so that is what looks right or or around eight pixel what about eight pixel yeah so now right there is image let's give some border radius to image also right so border radius to image and make it eight pixel also yeah okay. So next one is what? Let's select our button, right? This button and give some style. So for now, uh, span, tag, span. And uh, remember in the button, what we do normally, right? We add a padding, correct? And background color. So let's put a background color of something. What are we going to do here? Uh, this one. Let's try that. Yeah. And then we just go padding, right? Padding of maybe four pixel top and bottom, left and right. I believe eight pixel. Let's see how much it will go, right? Yeah, it's too much, correct? So uh, let's make this text uh, font size, right? Font size maybe twelve pixel is small, okay? Yeah. Can we add border radius? border radius just make it rounded something like in our design okay on to it make it bold little bit okay i mean you can change the color combination right however it looks but for now it okay. looks like okay let's make a cursor pointer right so that when we bring our you know like when we bring the cursor it will be pointer all right so now next is what heading one right so let's select heading one and give it a margin top and bottom right so margin top and margin top and bottom maybe 12 pixel or left and right make it zero yeah then you have paragraph right paragraph so let's make it font size of uh, 16 pixel because that is by default right so if you want go down 14 
it will reduce right you want to bring a uh, little down just make it what just make it uh, so outside of paragraph what is that margin right margin bottom correct uh, what is that margin bottom okay let's give it uh, 16 pixels all right so we got that now right what we're gonna make let's target this button so that is a button tag so border when you have button right normally there is a border okay so you always remove the border make it none yeah and then give a background color of steel blue or maybe slate let's make that one so we can change the color of the text right make it white i think this matches better okay then you add padding right always when you have button so 8 pixel left top and bottom left and right make it 16 pixel it looks something like that see i can bring the cursor right using cursor pointer to make it you know like a hand right see this is a pointer now okay we can change the border radius right border radius to uh 33 pixel to make it round yeah it's look okay but if you want to bring in the center how are we gonna do now? now see here is the all the margin on the right side right if i do margin zero right top and bottom left and right auto do you think it will work no it did not work right why because this is inline element and with inline element margin does not work so you have to change that to block so let's say display inline block and see what happened right it will work or no it did not work right what if you make it block now it moves see so the margin is only work with the block element so sometimes when you have inline element right make sure it is a block just convert to block and you can put in the same so uh, this was the basic demonstration right how you can make things okay i mean just try right give a try and things will be i don't know what is our design looks right it looks uh, there is some color changes right you can change the color and all that see it's okay there is a border also right uh, there is a, a card has a background white and there is a, another box right with the different background so you can do that as it does not matter right like a, you can add here above the card right give new box right so let's give it a class of uh, uh, wrapper right so one always think like this one d for something especially for one like one kind of job right so if i i'm just using a wrapper to have a background and some size okay so if i go here on the top i'll just put it on the top here wrapper right and i give a background color of uh let's say what is that uh not bro what color is this i have problem with color okay so i cannot figure out right let's try gray okay so light gray something light gray and then right see i can give some padding inside the inside the box right inside the wrapper correct all side just give a padding of how much maybe 15 pixel what about that so let's check now right let's see how it looks oh not that one here right so see the wrapper looks something like this see that the wrapper is has a 15 pixel padding and this is in the center of the wrapper but i want wrapper is small right so what i can do now so let's try now let's give the wrapper see our card is 300 pixel right so 
if i do the wrapper also around let's do the width or max width for wrapper of 300 pixel what gonna happen let's try okay it looks something like this right same same almost so we can or we can make it around 320 yeah and then what we can do right we can also move to the center so how we can move that the margin now because wrapper is small now right just move it to the center so margin zero auto margin zero auto now this is move to the center so yeah so you know simply you can do something like this also you know and now once you have one card right what you have to do just copy right copy paste let's imagine I, I i need to make 10 card what i will do i just copy this card right and i'll just put here two three four like that you know you see all they go down right see so you make one card and then you copy paste but what if i i need to make this responsive right so i need to use a flex box now so what i will do I wrap everything in a section okay for now i'll just wrap in a section and go all the way down where is that uh, here right section now i will select the section section and i said display flex right and then gap i will give it a uh, 24 pixel and flex wrap i will make it uh, wrap wrap right Let's see if this works so see now there is three in one section right and one in the center okay so now if i if i make it responsive it will be like this right see it will get in one line if you grow it will be like that see simple so that's how it work right that's how you're gonna do the job so you have to develop by practicing just you don't have to worry okay just have to see how things work right basically do some practice like once you keep working with these things it's, every day you're gonna understand some stuff right something slowly 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 and you know it will be you will be start thinking differently after a couple of weeks so let's practice same way okay i will stop here now thank you very much for this project